morning. We woke up for the first time here in our new apartment. We have uh, mopped the floors a little bit, uh, cleaned up just, just a little bit. We still got a lot of cleaning to do, as you can see by that giant pile behind me. But we got some blackout curtains hung here because we woke up at like 4.30 this morning, or at least Theft did, from the sunshine coming in the window. So we got some blackout curtains hung here. We hung up our overhead lighting in the bedroom, which is very nice. So um, a nice little light there. Hangs kind of low, but I like it. I mean, it's right above the bed. Um, it's not gonna be in anyone's way right here. So we have our overhead light in the bedroom, which makes it look so much nicer in here, so much brighter. So that's great. And then we move the couch uh, out here. So this is where the couch is gonna go, maybe in just a little bit, but we're just gonna float it right here um, in front of the balcony. That's from our bed, mostly. And then in here, we still have some furniture, again, to go through, figure out where we wanna put everything. Moosey Boy has already found a little spot of sunshine that he can lay down in. Very good. And then, uh, uh, that's about it. Like I said, we cleaned up the floors a little bit, vacuumed and mopped. Um, I'm gonna go run in. I got a meeting at work right now, and then uh, I'm gonna get back and keep putting stuff together, guys. So we'll see you soon. So we got some stuff put away. I, uh, this chest, I think, is gonna be a great coffee table. We can put extra blankets and stuff in there. Um, I started cleaning up a few things. You know, we mopped all the floors and got all the splinters out, so that was awesome. I need to clean uh, these up still and then put them you know, somewhere that's gonna be a better spot. I started putting the table together, the little round table that we got. I think we're gonna put it here in the kitchen. Um, and then I found out the, the base, one of the legs was split. So I got you know, the legs put on and all screwed in, but right here on one of them, the leg was split. So I had to glue it, but I didn't have any clamps. I didn't have like a clamp to keep it together while the glue dries, but I did have a wrench and electrical tape. And so with a little MacGyver ingenuity, I think that that looks uh, just fine. So we're gonna let that sit for about 24 hours, let that dry. Um, again, this is just wrenched on, electrical tape to keep it tight. Looks fine to me. So after 24 hours, we'll take that off and then we'll put the bracket back on, put the leg on. I think I'm gonna also take some mineral spirit to the top of this table and just wipe away any of the grime and the loose, um, uh, old finish and stuff on it. And then uh, use that same wood oil that I use in the bathroom on the beam up there and just oil the top of this. Cause the top was kind of scuffed up. Um, but I think with a little bit of wood oil, we can bring it back to life. So I'm gonna uh, leave this to dry and I'm gonna go start dusting the rest of that furniture. Try to spread it out a little bit, put it away. I wanna try to get that room cleared out enough that we can at least start like putting bags and stuff and organizing it by like what room everything goes in. So it'll be easier to put away. So we're gonna go work on that. All right, and we got this all cleared out here. I got this little piece put together. This over here just very temporarily. Eventually Feth's desk is gonna go here, but that's there for now to get it out of the way. So we have all this space in here now. Over here, packed up all that trash. Put this dresser here for now. I'll probably put a TV on top of it just for now until we get a TV stand. But uh, it's looking good. It's all coming together. Hi, Moosey. And then in here, cleaned up a little bit. We gotta clean the counters and clean the actual oven itself. But Feth is making some oomph. It's like a vegetarian meat substitute. So we're having some oomph, some potato salad, and some watermelon tonight. First meal in the new apartment. I'm so hungry. It smells amazing right now. So we're gonna eat this and then um, Feth works tomorrow morning, but we're gonna do some more cleaning tonight. Get some stuff all set up. Um, maybe try to go through some more bags. Uh, just keep settling in. So, time to eat. Good morning. Uh, today, I have worked in a little bit. Took Feff to work this morning. Just kind of hanging out right now. Um, I am going to try to put this leg on the table. Um, last night, we just did some cleaning. We got the stove really cleaned up, actually. So, we took like all of it apart. Because the stove, the stove was like a... A used stove that he had bought so uh, there was you know some dirt um, you know dirty inside and the glass was kind of dirty but we ended up taking like all the pieces of the uh, glass off scrubbing them really well all together so it's looking uh, really good actually we've been using uh, 
this stuff called the pink stuff. And uh, this stuff rocks, not gonna lie. Cleans up our sink, uh, the stove, everything. You know, not a sponsor, but uh, pink stuff. If you're watching and you wanna be, hit me up. Um, we also got like some appliance paint to fill in these gaps. Definitely doesn't match, but um, let's see if you can see it there, yeah. Definitely doesn't match, but uh, it's better than I guess just glaring silver. But you know, whatever, it'll work. But uh, much, much cleaner than it was. We probably still could get everything a little bit cleaner, but I'm pretty happy with that uh, right now as far as cleanliness goes for the stove. And then uh, we still need to put the actual hoods on these lights and then put hooks on the ceiling to uh, thread them up. And yeah, we're just kind of getting everything put in place, getting everything arranged. Hey, Moosey boy. Everything is, uh, is, is coming along. So I think after work, I worked for like 10 hours today. So not too much work that we're gonna do here. Um, and then Feff works early in the morning. Probably get some more cleaning done, maybe some more stuff put away. And then tomorrow while she's at work, I'll work on getting as much as I can set up. And then family comes in on Monday for the wedding. So Monday, I'm gonna be driving over to Gothenburg. We're gonna hang out in Gothenburg for a little bit because I have a friend coming in at like 11. My mom and my brother get in at like 12 and then my dad gets in at like 5.30. So rather than you know going back and forth because it's like an hour and a half to the Gothenburg airport, I'm just gonna drive, pick up my friend, my mom, my brother, and then we're just gonna hang out in Gothenburg till my dad gets in. So yeah, that's the plan right now. Uh, just kind of a chill day. Like I said, I'm gonna get this tea, uh, table put together and set up and uh, I'll show you guys what it looks like. I think we're gonna put it just right here, but um, I'll show you in just a second here. So we might move it around a little bit, maybe move it over a little bit more, but I think this is pretty good. We can always pull it out if there's not enough space back here for someone to sit, but I think, I think it should be all right. Now, since the top is all scuffed, um, gonna take some mineral spirit and just rub the top down with some mineral spirit to take off any loose bits, um, take off some of the finish. And then the same stain that I used in the bathroom on the beam, uh, on, on this beam here in the bathroom to seal it, I'm gonna go ahead and use that again. So I'll probably just rub the top and the sides down with some mineral oil, and then we'll just reseal it with that uh, wood oil to uh, to protect it and uh, you know get rid of some of some of that. I also put the shelves and the door back on this. It looks like there was supposed to be a drawer at the bottom there. Don't know where that is. Gonna go back out to the barn, I think, and see if I can find it. Cause maybe it just got lost out there in the uh, pile of stuff. Cause I was missing a bolt for one of the legs as well for the table. And it ended up just being like laying on the ground in the barn out there. So I was able to find that. And then also as far as these cabinets go, and even this top, can we put these on there yesterday and uh, I left a little red mark. I was talking to my dad yesterday and news to me, apparently paint can take up to like a month to fully cure. So he said just to leave these cabinets open for like a month and then we can close them and it, it should be better about like not ripping the paint off. But um, so we're gonna wait a month and just like leave them like this and then we'll see. I'm gonna put the uh, handles back on though. Um, we're just gonna leave them open. So I'll put those back on also and uh, I'll show you guys what that looks like. Oh yeah, I am very happy with how those look. I think the uh, black spray paint was a great idea on those. I love the black on black look and the uh, leaving the screws, the little gold color, I think, uh, is really nice as that little pop. So the only thing I have to do is I uh, get just a little piece uh, to put in here and it goes through this, uh, uh, one of the holes down there because this is not secure, it just kind of hangs out there. Uh, this one has it, so this one is all good. But this one, uh, it still opens, but you know, if you pull it straight out, it's gonna come straight out, which is maybe where they bent this one. I don't know, <laughs> but we're gonna let them sit. I'm not too worried about it right now. Again, it'll be about a month before we actually start closing these to make sure that the paint cures and doesn't rip off because I tried to sand the tops uh, of the inside and it just doesn't really work. I mean, it closes here and then it, it gets caught right there. Same thing over here, it gets caught right there. So rather than trying to force them closed and keep ripping paint off and dealing with that, We'll just let them sit. And then uh, in a month's time, if it's still 
is doing it, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. But uh, yeah, now that this is all put together, I'm digging it. We just need to get some uh, chalk so we can test out that chalkboard wall on the back. Also, our landlord dropped this stuff off, which is supposed to be like a restorative paste, a black paste for the um, wood stove we have here in the kitchen. And I don't know if you can tell on camera, but I use this and it is way more black. Uh, I definitely need to take either some steel wool or a wire brush or something to these spots here. I don't know if that's even something that I can get out or like what it's gonna look like afterwards. I'm not sure what kind of damage that is, but um, I wanna try to do something about that. I, don't th I think I might be able to remove this whole piece maybe. So I'm, I might try to do that. Um, I'll try to fix that little guy there. And there's also, there's a, you know, there's a lot of corrosion, just nastiness around here that I don't think I'm gonna get out. Maybe I could get some off with a steel brush. I'm not too terribly worried about it, but um, it's definitely, especially on the front, it's a lot more black. The front looks great, actually. It's everything else that's a little bit, the top is eh, but we'll keep working on it. It's a work in progress, but I think that's a great first step. What's up guys, today has been a little bit of an interesting day. All the family comes in tomorrow for the wedding. So I've been on the phone with, um, so Scandinavian Airlines, SAS, uh, all the pilots are on strike right now. My cousin was coming in with his wife on SAS and their flight was canceled like twice. So we're trying to figure out like if we could rebook them and everything. So I've been on the phone with like the Scandinavian number for SAS. So it's just been a nightmare, um, the, a nightmare situation. Uh, but my mom and my dad and my brother and my friend Andy are coming in town tomorrow. So I'm going to Gothenburg to pick them up. But um, so I haven't really recorded much today because I've just been on my phone all day. But we went to Ikea. We got a couple things that we needed. Returned the floor because we're not going to do this white anymore. It's going to be like this. So we returned the floor paint. The, uh, we returned the floor paint. Um, moved some stuff in here. I'm going to go through these tonight, I think, and just start unpacking some of the clothes. Fafa already unpacked a lot of her clothes in here. So this area is much cleaner now. Now, I, we still don't have actual ceiling lights, but we bought these lights that we are just using like next to our bed. And uh, you know, you actually have to plug them in. So uh, we have just like a cord running for that one, but I guess it's like better than nothing. Same thing in here. We were joking that this looks like a creepy old abandoned house where it's just like a bare bulb uh, hanging from the ceiling. We have a little extra bed set up for someone to sleep here, um, either my brother or uh, my friend, and then someone's gonna go on the couch. But uh, then over here in the kitchen, I uh, vacuumed all these beams off today, and then I vacuumed this wall off really well. I got all of the like drywall, mud, dust, and everything off of it that was here, and then uh, vacuumed these beams and then this side of the wall as well. So a lot of that loose moss um, is off of it and all that dust that was sitting there collecting on it. So uh, it looks a lot nicer now, it looks a lot cleaner. There's nothing like, you know, hanging off of it. Um, so that's sweet. We still have a lot of things. So like, this is all clean, you know, we've been washing all of our dishes and everything that we have gotten. Um, and uh, we are, you know, in the process of figuring out where we should put everything, putting everything away. We went to the grocery. Uh, we still have like no food, but uh, we have a little bit more than zero food now. So I think that's good. Like our fridge has like at least some things in it now. We're slowly building it up. So like I said, it's been a day. Family gets in tomorrow, so I'll probably chat with you guys while I'm waiting at the airport for them to get in in Gothenburg. Or we're going to hang out in Gothenburg a little bit tomorrow. So uh, join me for that, guys. We'll talk to you then.